Hey everybody, it's Lucia, and I wanted to show you my painted fabric that I did with Becky. Becky had like uh, 10 prompts, I believe. Uh, Becky, that's Aunt Beck's Creations. And I got my little list here so I can go through them. <clears throat> and it was painting on fabric, and then the end product is going to be like a little bag. A rice bag actually so my fabric was just like one half of a pillowcase I had this pillowcase laying around I didn't know where it came from it was it had been washed and everything so I just cut it apart and used one half of it and that's what I did my paint on so the first um, prompt was splatter and I don't know I did a whole video a whole process video on painting and everything and then something happened with my editing software and I can't use the clips so that whole video that I did with doing this fabric is gone so but I did pink splatters and I don't know if you can see them in there but there's pink splatters and then black dots and the black dots are these and I used a stencil and I'm also going to use this as my circles because one of the prompts is circles. It says stitch circles, but I don't want to stitch, so I'm just going to say those are the circles. Um, sponge on paint, which was that little piece right there. And I just used a piece of a sponge that I had cut. And I just used this and I just patted it all over the fabric. So that is my sponge part add lace which obviously you can see the lace in there uh add some hearts okay this one was the hardest prompt because i could not figure out how i wanted to add my art hearts i didn't know if i wanted to stitch them on i didn't know if i wanted to stamp them on paint them on i just wasn't sure and and originally i think i said i was going to use this little trim that has hearts all over it but then i didn't like the way that looked on here because it just kind of didn't go so just today i was looking through my scrap bin because i'm trying to do all these projects with just stuff from my scrap bin and i had found some pieces of fabric that already had some steam seam on the back of it so i cut out um, a bunch of little hearts and i used the actual mask from it also so the hearts and where i cut the hearts out of and then i pinned those on they still need to be ironed on which will be easy and then i can stitch around them so that was my heart um fabric scraps were these pieces I had a bunch of these um, pieces in my scrap bin it, they were pieces and I just cut the flowered circles out I love that fabric it's so pretty and then I just stuck them randomly by the lace um, add buttons I'm gonna do that last add straight lines and my straight lines I did with a Posca pin and these are the lines there it's gold so I just made lines in various areas of the fabric and use a favorite color which I did all these colors around in here are kind of my favorite but I really like how this um, these little hearts that were that I cut out were kind of wild like the other fabric this one needs to be rounded off a little bit and they still need to be ironed on so I'm gonna do that now I got my little iron right here heating up this one I kind of cut the bottom but that's okay because we will just iron it down it'll be fine so I'm gonna take the pins out as I go get my pin cushion here So, I had to buy a new software editing program to edit my videos. 
I guess, you know, like I was saying during the first video I tried to make is if you don't use your stuff, it gets all icky because some of my paint I had not used in so long that it was so, it was not usable. All right, so that one is on. So I was glad that this, um, this was going to be a test because I wasn't sure if that was still going to be sticky enough to stick on, but it is. So it's sticking very well. So we're going to take that one out. Make sure the, see it has the glue on the back. Some of them I took the backing off and some of them I didn't. So I got to check that before I start gluing or ironing them down. Perfect. It's working out good. I want to keep laying that down on the fabric, but I don't want it to burn. I still have to do some stitching on here. I mean, I did a lot of just the running stitch across the whole thing just to tack everything down. But after this, I think I'm going to cut the squares. And I think I'm going to do my squares six and a half inches instead of nine and a half like um, Becky did on hers and that is only because I measured out and I don't have enough to cut to cut nine and a half inch squares so I'm just going to do six and a half inch squares which will make my finished block uh, six six inches which is fine I mean this is just a little rice bag, and I you can do it in any size you want. So I'll make sure I got the paper off the back. Yep. So if you get to see this video on YouTube, that means that I got my new software and everything worked well. I got the same type of software that I had before, um, but a newer version. And to be honest, in the end, my son helped me fix it. And I don't even think it was a software, but I had prematurely already deleted my other program and was ready to buy a new program. It was actually a setting on my camcorder that somehow got um, changed. And I don't know how it got changed because the amount of buttons you would have to push to even change it was not something that could have just been done on accident so I don't know what happened there but it's all up and going now so it is what it is I have this little iron because when I go to sewing retreats, I keep it next to me. And then like when I sew a block together, if I just have a little ironing area next to me and I can just iron the seam so I don't have to keep getting up and going to the big ironing board. It's perfect because it just goes right down the seams with the point on it. I like it. I don't know, I don't know if this one's going to... I just need it to stick enough so I can, when I stitch around it, it'll be more permanent. But I just need it to stay on there. I'm really enjoying doing all these projects with scraps because it's using up a lot of my scraps. Okay, see, look, like this one still has the paper on it, so I need to take that paper off. It 
It has been non-stop raining here for days. Four days. It's been raining so hard that for Christmas uh, we take our sofas out of our one sitting area and so we can put all the Christmas decorations up in there and we have a lot so we just take the sofas and put them in storage and then after Christmas we bring them back but last year we didn't bring them back so the whole year went by with a basically kind of empty room other than a, other than a chair that we let the dog use to look out the window she sits in it and kind of looks out the window so anyway we decided to go ahead and bring them back this year after we took down all the Christmas decorations and we backed up into our yard close to our door so we could it was just me and my husband so we it would be closer and not having to carry our heavy couches for a long distance and it was so wet that our truck sank in the grass and now we have like tire ruts in our in our grass so we got to get out there and even that out or do something with that because we don't want to have ruts in the grass when spring comes and things starts drying out a little bit. But that's how much rain we've had. Everything is just muddy and soaking wet. Okay, I found my cutter. So I'm going to stand up and I'm going to cut this. Okay, so that is one square, which is pretty cool looking. And then once I get the buttons and the other stitchy on, I think it'll look nice. So I need to cut four more of those. Turn this off because I don't need that anymore. I'm trying to look and see because I want to have the same amount of hearts, solid and open hearts on each block. So we'll do this one.
Okay, that's my four. I need one more. See, and this will make a nice piece of stitching to put on another project. All right, so I got two to do. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Okay, and that one. So I have all of this to do something else with, which would like make lovely postcards. Um, you could put some on some ATCs. I mean, there's just all kinds of things you can do with this. I'm going to fold that back up. And then I have my pieces here and I can stitch on these individually. So how this goes is it goes like this and I'm going to put some batting in between them also. They go like this. Arrange how you want them. This one down here and then you sew to like a quarter inch out to the end and then you pick up these two with your quarter inch and you sew those so eventually it's going to be a bag and I think that's going to look pretty. I want to make sure the hearts are going up when it's sewn together. So far so good. Yep. And then the bottom doesn't matter. And then the inside will be a backing fabric that will just be the lining combined in. So that is my painted fabric that I've done with Becky at Aunt Beck's Creations. That was a lot of fun. I haven't done any projects in a while and now I'm just kind of like oh you know getting back into it so those are those and I'll come back and show those once I'm a little farther along on them Here's, um, for my batting I'm not going to use batting I have a bunch of squares that I found today when I was going through my um, scrap box I found a bunch of flannel squares. Someone must have given these to me because I don't remember making anything with these. So I might use these as the, instead of batting, to give it a little bit of um, weight. So yeah, like I said, I'm really enjoying using up all these fabric scraps and using things up that I've had laying around for a while. So that's what I've been working on. Thanks for watching. Bye.